If you're a longtime resident of the Wabash Valley, you have probably heard about an unusual attraction down in Olney, Illinois. It's something that attracts visitors from near and far. Mike Tank has more, Mike. All right, thank you, Tom. They have four legs, bushy tail, and they are white. I'm talking about the white squirrels of Olney. Their numbers are dwindling, but citizens are doing their best to protect these unique animals, as I found wandering Wabash. White squirrels are important in Olney, Illinois. The proof is everywhere. People come from all over to see our squirrels, and we're so fortunate to have them here. The local expert on white squirrels is Belinda Hinton. The squirrel lady. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> Her home features a Southern Illinois white squirrel decor. Oh, what is that? Belinda's been helping injured or lost albino eastern gray tree squirrels, otherwise known as white squirrels, for years. She's even certified by the state of Illinois as a wildlife rehabilitator. There's some debate as to why there are so many here. What do you think? I think because we fostered their care. <laughs> Excuse us. Our interview was interrupted by a call about squirrels, no doubt. Tom, your phone's on the barbecue grill. Harvey's calling you. Tom is her devoted husband. What's, what's it like being married to the squirrel lady? You don't want to know. You get into stuff you never thought was possible. Oh, and Harvey is Harvey Beal. He helps supply corn for the squirrels, along with a little entertainment. Does this uh, squirrel talk? Thank you. Thank you for my, I love what you're doing for me. And the others? Yes, there's a lot of joy in helping the white squirrels, which sometimes involves caring for abandoned little ones like Lucy and her friend Elliot. Should I act like a nut? Maybe it'll work. Boy, Lucy's thirsty. Yeah! They have claws. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Now this is entertainment. No one knows exactly why the white squirrels are in Olney, but for decades the town has tried to protect them. There's even an ordinance that cats must be on a leash. You see, cats, hawks, coyotes, sometimes dogs are a danger to the squirrels. It's just an effort between the city and animal control trying to get that problem fixed. The squirrels also need trees, but through the years there are fewer trees in town. However, there's an effort to distribute squirrel houses. There's a gentleman, if you look on our only website, he wrote a song for us, and it's called, um, I can't remember. <laughs> The song is The White Squirrels of Olney by Peter Martz. After he passed away, contributions were made in his name for an effort to build squirrel houses. Even with all the attention, there are fewer white squirrels. Years ago, one in every three squirrels was white. Now that number is one in 12. They know this because every October, the town does a squirrel count. It's where volunteers pan out around the town early in the morning looking for the sometimes elusive animals. Of course, we wanted to find some squirrels for this story, but have no fear, we have the squirrel lady. And we're having trouble finding him in the town, so we came outside of town near a lake, and Belinda here, our guide, is on the phone talking with the owner of this house because we did see two white squirrels. Let's see if we can get them on video. Awesome. Then, up in a tree, we spotted one. Never <laughs> gone squirrel hunting in this manner. <laughs> we had success. Maybe we'll find more. And we did. Suddenly, maybe a dozen squirrels arrived on the scene. Only and only. Only and only. <laughs> That's right. We really did get lucky. We found those squirrels around noon, but the best time to see the squirrels is early in the morning or in the evening. So make a day of it. Visit Olney, look for the white squirrels, do a little shopping, stop by the lakes near town, and enjoy yourself.